All right, everybody, we're here at the first day of Paintball Extravaganza 2013 here in Washington, D.C. There's lots of vendors in there. This is going to be a multi-part series because there's a lot of... I mean, you got Tibbin in there, you got Lapco, you got Empire, you have Die, and all, all the other people I can't think of right now. I mean, it's huge in there. We're going to go in there in a minute. Right now, actually, speaking of Empire, they're going to unveil the new Vanquish. So let's get in there before they, they get to it and um, follow me. It's time to play the game. Time to play the game. <laughs> and they're like mad at us. Like we didn't even leak a picture. We just were testing guns out in the field. from being a technical person to being a player. As a player, it's a, a very great um, ergonomic setup. It's a very soft, smooth shot. As you shoot the gun, it's very consistent. On the tech side, it's extremely easy to work on, to look after, to keep it working at its peak performance. Um, it really is a, an all-round gun that has performance, it has looks, it has ergonomics, it has ease of teching. It really is the pinnacle in every single area. Designing the Empire Vanquish, we really wanted to think about um, the ergonomics, how the lines carry from the top to the core grip to the grip frame, and just bring that all together to give one great looking product. We want to make the user interface as easy as possible to use. We looked at today's cell phones, your iPhone, your Android phones, and we went off that to try to make the user interface as intuitive as possible. The Vanquish has a pressure transducer. So right on the screen you'll be able to see your pressure. You can find and tune your gun just using the screen. You don't have to look at a gauge anymore and guess what the pressure might be. Which allows you to understand the pressures inside the gun and to do any adjustments without having a large gauge on the outside of the gun that can either stick in your wrist or get damaged by a shot. On the Vanquish we also knurled the back of the grip frame that allows you to index the gun properly in all those heated moments. We looked over the entire market to make sure we have improved on everything possible from the latest materials to the latest technology. So we use a visual brake beam sensor in the breech uh, to make it easy to tell if your eyes are on and working. You can just look down your feet and you can see instantly what's going on with your eyes if you think you have an issue. I think the single most important thing about the Vanquish is the single Allen key concept. For anybody that's ever worked on their own gun, finding the correct Allen key is always a pain. And going through different multiple Allen keys that are similar sizes, it's a pain. The concept of just using one Allen key to do every single screw on the gun from anything at all is huge. It's so simple. I'm kind of amazed no one's ever done it before. With the Vanquish Electronics, we started with the baseline of very reliable electronics that we've used in the past. And then we added new technological features to really put it over the top. We have the easy to use USB interface, the really intuitive UI. We have the five-way joystick for easy control. In the box, you're going to get a complete super free carbon fiber that matches your Vanquish. Very cool. There's a lot of little details that really bring the gun out above and beyond anything we've ever done before. It's what makes this gun a step above all the rest. This marker is a true game changer. Alright guys, so...
right, so we're in the key action booth right now. You just saw the unveiling of the new Vanquish. We're here with Travis, and he's going to tell us a little bit about it. All right, so we have the uh, brand new Vanquish. It is, the engine comes out similar to how an axe would. Push the button in, give it the turn, pull it out. Um, Inline balance pressure spool. It's got your laser eyes. Um, some of the really cool features on this gun that sets it apart is you probably can't see it on the camera there, but it's got a low, it's got a pressure sensor, and so inside the gun, um, it's not it's not the tank pressure coming in; it's the actual operating pressure of the gun. So you, you can see, oh, I'm at 175 psi. Um, you know, I've got my pressure set to feel good. I don't have any beat down. You know, it eliminates gauges and all that kind of stuff. It's a very accurate gauge. Also, notice too, there's no no um, gauges on this at all. Right. Uh, when you have the pressure sensor, you don't need any gauges. Right. So, uh, actually, after you chrono for the very first time, um, you can pretty much tell by your pressures where you're at, your sweet spot of 280, 290. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The other cool thing is uh, it comes with a uh, toolkit. One Allen key, right? One Allen key does. I was saying, where's the rest? I was thinking, <laughs> does the entire gun. So just adjust your velocity down to the, the trigger. You can make your trigger adjustments. Uh, the whole gun, every screw on it, breaks down with a three thirty seconds Allen key. So we get the one special toolkit. That's nice. That's nice. I know there's a light there. What's that about? Uh, that's the laser brick beam eyes. Uh, it's, wow. it's two and four eye compatible. Come up to two. I mean, it's good to go, right? But you can, if you want to really tweak it out, you can do all that. Um, the barrel kit comes with a carbon fiber free kit with five inserts. Um, what else? That's very, very nice. The new Vanquish. I like it. Also, I noticed you got an auto cocker like looking marker. That's right. So, uh, we figured for uh, 2013, the year of the resurrection, right? I haven't seen one of those in a while. Right, so yeah, yeah, yeah. we had a big successful okay. year last year with the Snipes of Pump. And so, the, yeah, so yeah, the obvious question was hey, well, when are you guys going to do an auto cocker? And after you hear it like six or seven thousand times, you're like, you're right. Yeah. So, it's based on that platform. It's a single trigger slide frame. Right, right. Uh, it does have all the upgraded uh, front end. You can, if you have some particular regulator or whatever, it's all right. interchange interchangeable. You can do that. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, Resurrection Auto Cocker. So what about timing? Is that like the old Auto Cocker, like the Carnivore? And right. So it's, it's all manual time. Timing? So it comes obviously time, but it has the rock knob on the front. Okay. Um, yeah. You'll notice there's a milk through hole on a three-way. So on the over, you can get to that adjustment point from either side now. Oh so wow, nice, yeah, nice. So we've uh, we tried to think of a lot of new things and uh, incorporate it in, but it's, it's the classic auto cocker. Yeah. There you go, the Empire Resurrection Auto Cocker. I like it. All right, thank you very much. Ready? Okay, we are at the Empire booth. Sorry, start over again. We are in the key action booth. You just saw the unveiling of the Vanquish. Now we have. Now we have the Vanquish. The Vanquish. <laughs> sorry, what's your name? Travis. Travis. Start over again. All right, everybody. You just where? It's been a long few days. I bet. <laughs>